All packed and ready to travel to Idaho. Now you might be wondering, why are you traveling to Idaho? Well, ever since I've been to FanX Comic Con, you can find that video right here, I fell in love with cons. So I've been wanting to go to cons ever since, and the most recent one I could find that I would go to is Idaho's Comic Con. Yeah, Idaho. I'm willing to travel to Idaho to go to this con. Now, of course, I know Gem State Comic Con is a much smaller con, than Salt Lakes, but I'm curious to compare the two just to see how much of a difference it makes. Oh, I should probably get going. The next day. Sean Aston here. I just wanted to uh, allow myself to be interviewed on this wonderful uh, YouTube channel called The Economy of Movies. The Economy of Movies? The Economy of Movies. Say, I can't hear you. Wait. Hi, I'm Sean Aston. I'm now sorted out. This is uh, the Dakota Man YouTube channel, and I am a professional actor, and I want to be interviewed. Ask me any movie, any question, anything you want to know. Go. How did your growth with Lord of the Rings affect your career? That's How did growth with Lord of the Rings affect my career? Um... Well, one specific way is they, we had dialect coaching. We spent six weeks uh, doing rehearsals before the movie, and we had dialect coaches. And the dialect coaches, we'd spend an hour a day studying, like, how does your, how does your mouth work? Like, your tongue placement on the roof of your mouth, or the, the air that comes between the outside of your teeth and your cheeks, or how does your breathing affect it, or, you know, if you're in your throat or your nasal voice or whatever. And we studied this for six weeks. When I got home two years later, I was auditioning for a animated shows, voiceovers and stuff. And I had never, I'd done it a lot before, but I could never get the parts. I started booking them right away. And it was because of the training that I did there. They, it was before Lord of the Rings came out, so they weren't hiring the guy from Lord of the Rings. I, I, I was able to go in, and when you audition in those things, well, now you just do it in your living room and you send it in. But then, you know, the engineers are all on one side of the glass, and you're on the microphone side and you're watching them and they give you notes. And before I did Lord of the Rings, when they would say, can you pitch it up a little bit? Can you pitch it up a little bit? Like, I, I would do it and I thought I was responding, but I couldn't hear what they were hearing. And after the Lord of the Rings experience, I could hear what they, I was trained to understand. So that's one of many. All right, last question for this wonderful interview. Um, what was your favorite moment filming on set? Favorite moment filming on set? 
when my little daughter, Alexandra Louise Aston, a.k.a. Allie, three years old, dressed as the Hobbit Eleanor, comes running down the path to Samwise when he's returning home from farewelling Frodo to the Grey Havens. And uh, it's the last shot of the last scene of all three films. And I say, well, I'm back. And she kisses me. Pretty good? Yeah. So, everyone, come back and visit Dakota Man all the time because things are getting crazy. And I'm back. So for the con itself, it was fine. It was a good con. You can only really be there for one day because there's not really much to do to go both days that they have there. And I feel like the bits of the con were a bit unorganized. Even looking at the shops themselves, they weren't great. They're mostly the, either Funkos or comics or like these little figurine things. That's basically all the shops were, just repeating the same thing over and over again. There's a couple good stuff, but I didn't really buy anything from the shops, which I'm about to show you what I did get from the trip. Was it worth the drive? Was it worth the hotel? Was all that worth? Was the entire trip worth going there for? Depends how you think about it. I feel like the con's worth it if you have something else to do there. But from my experience, I enjoyed it. Definitely could have been better though. And they definitely could have organized it a lot better too. But without further ado, let's begin the haul. So if you arrived early because 
they sold out. Well, it didn't really sell out because they got it for free. But when you walk in, they have, they had a couple free stuff you could grab. So that's basically everything I got. So first off, there's a booklet just explaining all the dates that happened, like what time the photo ops at, the guests here, what time they're signing stuff, stuff like that. That was all in this booklet. And yeah, I might throw this away. This is nothing special, but there is better stuff. I just wanted to show you guys this because it was there. But another thing, they have an exclusive comic book. It's also mainly made, I think, for this Comic Con because if you look at the back, you know, it has all the dates this company hosts. So this company made this comic. Also, nothing really special. Haven't read it yet. There's probably nothing special though, just because that obviously the company made it but for actually the good stuff i got so there were three free posters you could grab they were taken fast because they were free but one of my favorite posters i'll show my favorite one later just because of a certain thing on it but my second favorite poster is this batman run right here don't know why they had this on the booth because if you look at the other posters it was designed for a guest there. This one, there was no guests featuring around Batman. I still do think this is a good looking poster. Better than the one I have right over there. I do like this one better. And I just like the way it looks too. My least favorite poster out of the bunch is this Lord of the Rings poster. I kind of like the shade of color, but it's not my favorite. Too plain. Okay, now I'm going to start showing you everything I got signed. From a guest. So, my favorite poster out of all three of the posters was this Darth Vader one right here, which I got signed from the person who plays Darth Vader in Rogue One, that ending scene. That's who signed this. I do think this poster looks really good signed. I like the way it looks and everything. But of course, the main reason why I even had an entire trip just going to this con in the first place was to meet Sean Austin. And of course, I have his autograph on my Lord of the Rings poster right there. My lighting may kind of block it, but yeah, it's right there. He was really fun to meet. It does look really good, and I'm hoping to meet the other hobbits or anyone from Lord of the Rings to like kind of complete this poster to have everyone sign it. But with that, that was my haul and my vlog for Gem State Comic Con. Thanks for watching. It was a fun trip. Uh, worth the drive and the hotel booking and stuff, but it's fun for a day. It was just a nice day thing. But anyways, thanks for watching.